age is only a number discuss. In a few weeks, I'm sitting my final exams at Cambridge University and as part of my preparation, I looked at some past papers and I looked at some questions from all the way back in 2004. And back then the format of the exams was a bit different and I was shocked at the kind of questions which came up. So I'm just gonna go through some of the more exciting questions. Okay, here's the paper for 2005. And the first question is, why is Kyoto important and what are the next steps? Like what, what the hell does that even mean? Okay, so Kyoto is a city in Japan, but there's also uh, the Kyoto Protocol that was like an international treaty uh, for global warming. There's literally not one biology word in that question. Like, and they don't even specify that they mean the Kyoto Protocol, they just say Kyoto. <laughs> Out of context, I had no idea how to answer this question. Like, this is the kind of question you could maybe come up with in geography or something like that. <laughs> okay, next question is, to what extent is biology subjective as opposed to objective? That's not even like a science question, that is just a humanities question. Like, it's, it's a philosophical question, that's not even biology. <laughs> I, I would find these questions so hard if they came up in my exams. <laughs> I don't understand how they came up with these questions. It, it looks like they enjoyed making students suffer because keep in mind they would have spent three years preparing for this exam just to be asked questions like to what extent is biology subjective like how can you answer that <sighs> discuss the importance of recognition in biology monkey celia's cambridge advice monkey subscribe monkey big brain if you're an a-level student this is where you talk about enzymes and like substrate all that lovely stuff Consider whether application of the precautionary principle will stiffly... Uh, I, I don't know what precautionary principle is, I'm gonna just skip the rest of this question. <laughs> okay, the next question is literally, nice guys finish last. Discuss. Whoever wrote these questions, like, they're dirty-minded. <laughs> he knew exactly what he was saying. they definitely not get away with asking these kind of questions today. I, I'll add that there's no right answers to these questions, it's all about making an argument and how you think in making, just making a coherent argument and not about ticking off a mark scheme. Um, but one thing you could potentially talk about in this question is like game theory and prisoner's dilemma, that kind of stuff. Okay, next one is, we share half our genes with siblings, but 99% of chimpanzees discuss. Now that is, that is like a, I think that's a pretty good question, not gonna lie. And most people, if you ask them this, they, will, they won't know how to answer. And like, it is a really good question actually. Like, why is it that you share 50% of your DNA with your siblings, but 99% with chimpanzees? And the answer is, it just comes down to how you define similarity. Like if you mean exactly the same DNA, then yeah, like 50% of the DNA you share with your siblings. But if you mean in terms of having genes, then we do share 99% of our genes with chimpanzees. Great scientific progress often stems from the confluence of previously separated fields of research. I'm not sure what confluence means, but I'm gonna guess it means coming together. Hey. Okay, here's a question in the population biology section, and it is literally, age is only a number discuss. I think this is the same person, the person who wrote this question is the same one as the nice guys finish last question. <laughs> I don't know, just, what would you say to this? Age is only a number. I think you could talk about how natural selection is not very effective when you get very old. Like Huntington's disease is a horrible disease in humans and it only is expressed after you have children when you were like quite old. So people who have that disease can have children and only after the children are born do they have this horrible disease. So natural selection isn't very effective because the trait is expressed only after they reproduce. I don't know. How do nervous systems generate and control rhythmical movements? <laughs> can historical ecology be an experimental science? I 
question. This question is how is persistence affected by synchronicity? Honestly, I'm not really, really sure what, what this means. Discuss the relationship between English woodland in historic times and the pre Neolithic vegetation. Bro, that's so boring. Imagine having to write an essay about woodland in the past versus more in the past. Jesus. Compare and contrast fast and slow muscles. That's a pretty easy question. Like, fast muscles are fast and slow muscles are slow. Stupid. <laughs> Are genes really selfish? Like, are they are they really selfish, or are they pretending to be selfish and they're actually nice? That's actually a pretty good question. Basically, if you answer this question, you should read The Selfish Gene by Richard Dawkins.